In recent news, we've been hearing about a dispute between Comcast and Level 3 Communications. This is the story of a peering dispute turned political. On the one hand, we have Level 3 accusing Comcast of singling out video and demanding a fee for Netflix video delivery, therefore violating net neutrality. Comcast, in reply, says, we're not demanding money for video. This is just a good old-fashioned peering dispute. It has nothing to do with blocking websites. So who's right here? Well, this is a very complex topic, so I'll explain the concepts of peering and transit on the Internet, and then we're going to look at the relationship between Level 3 and Comcast based on the known facts and the public statements made by the two companies. So here we have a map of the internet. We've got the internet here represent, represented by a cloud. It connects every computer in the world, just about, uh, including Netflix and all these Comcast broadcast, broadband subscribers. Here we have Comcast. We have a nationwide network here of lots and lots and lots of these cable DOCSIS 3.0 loops, which is the cable broadband technology. And DOCSIS 3.0 is their recent technology that allows them to deliver higher speeds to the home. Here we have Level 3, Comica Level 3 Communications acting as a transit provider. And what this does is allows Comcast to reach the Internet. Also, Comcast has a choice of other, other Tier 1 Internet providers that allows them to get to the Internet, uh, other parts of the Internet, and uh, Tata Communications is, an, is another example. Now, transit service is not something that's free because it costs money to, del to deliver connectivity to the Internet, and so therefore Comcast pays both Level 3 Communications and Tata, as well as a number of other transit providers. Uh, Netflix over here is a content provider or a content dist distribu distribution company and they have a connection to the internet here, uh, which is which doesn't need to be very, very fast because they only deliver copies of their video to Akamai one time. Once it gets to Akamai, it gets stored inside of uh, disks, inside of servers. And from Akamai, it reaches uh, broadband providers like Comcast over a private peering connection. Now, this is a paid connection because Comcast has no reason to connect to Akamai uh, Akamai is requesting uh, many gigabits of data on the order of tens, maybe even hundreds of gigabits per second to connect to Comcast so that they can deliver a copy of the video to, for each person on demand. This is not broadcast technology. That's why, it's, that's why it requires so much bandwidth because each person is getting a separate copy of the video at a separate time course this is a paid relationship this is this is called a paid peering relationship and uh, of course what's interesting is level 3 communications also operates a CDN division a CDN, CDN department uh, if you will that provides a similar service to Akamai now this is a, a different business uh, compared to the transit division, it's the same company, but it's it's two different divisions, two different functions, two different services. Now, between Level 3 and Comcast, Comcast does kind of have a desire to connect to Level 3 and vice versa. And so they, they've kind of decided that, that said, they, they've agreed to a term called settlement-free peering, which is if you send me as, if you only send me as much traffic as I send you, then we're not going to charge any ch charge each other any money. Of course, um, it's rough. It, it can be roughly the same. So here in this example, we have uh, level three sending maybe a hundred gigabits more more stuff than uh, Comcast sends sends uh, level three. Now, how do we know this is two hundred gigabits of capacity? Well, based on the letter filed by Comcast, um, we can deduce that uh, you know with each pipe being at least ten gigabits per second, and they had. Uh, probably on the order of 20, 20 connections. Um, therefore, I, we can reason, reasonably assume that they have uh, more than 200 gigabits of peering capacity here. So Level 3 Communications has all this capacity over here, and they said, wait a minute, let's, uh, 
let's off, offer Netflix a delivery deal um, that that is cheaper than Akamai, so that they can make some money from Netflix for CDN services. Uh, again, sorry, CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. So. Uh, uh, Netflix Level 3 successfully negotiated a huge deal um, requiring 3,000 gigabits of capacity nationwide so it's reasonable to believe that they could they would require another 300 gigabits from Comcast since they need 3,000 uh, for North America so they went to Comcast and said uh, we want you to give us another 300 gigabits of capacity for free and so Comcast said well wait a minute, uh, we're already giving you an extra 100 giga gigabits of capacity without charging you. We're forgiving that. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to give you another 60 gig gigabits of capacity while we think it over. And now uh, this is not an easy decision because uh, if we add 300 gigabits of capacity here, they got to add capacity here in the back hall, they got to add capacity here. And it's not just four houses, we're talking about you know, on the order of 10 million houses. So it's, it's no small job. So Comcast went back to level three and said, "Look, um, we're already giving this, giving you this uh, 160 gigabits of capacity for free, and uh, if you want another 200 gigabits of capacity, you're going to have to pay us for this, just like all the other CDN providers." And so level three kind of balked at that, but they agreed. However, they went to the public and the media and the FCC complaining that. Because Comcast is charging for this extra capacity here, uh, it, it is tantamount to Comcast taxing and with under the threat of blocking Netflix. So that's where this rumor that Net Comcast wants to block Netflix came from. Of course, this has nothing to do, and there, there is no direct relationship between Comcast and Netflix. Uh, the fact that Comcast can charge level three for this does not mean, as some people like Dave Burstein suggest, that they can tax the entire internet here. That's, that's nonsense because um, they have to pay the internet to reach the internet. It's, they can't tax the, they can't reverse the charge here uh, going the other direction. They can charge companies that want private, private high-speed exclusive capacity here, but they cannot charge anyone on the internet. Um, and they can't charge companies inside the internet and they can't charge companies attached to the internet like Netflix. So, what if what if level three turned down the offer and said, um, you know, this this 200 gigabits is too expensive. We don't want to pay for that, so we make that go away. Well, Netflix could look at this path and say, well, the performance is not what you told us it was going to be. So uh, we're going to have to go back to our old CDN provider because because they were the real thing. Or the other alternative is level three communications can say. Um, We'll give you 100 gigabits, uh, 200 gigabits here in the transit part uh, for no extra charge. You keep on paying us what you paid here. We won't charge you for this uh, for this extra capacity. And you give us another 200 here, we give you 200 here, and we'll just call it even. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't say that. Now, if, if they had done this, maybe that would have been a reasonable request to get this for free because uh, this was kind of a win-win for everybody because all the all these other companies here connected to the internet can get faster access to Comcast and vice versa. All these users can get faster access to the internet and, and uh, Level 3 can get all this private peering capacity and so everybody's a win-win and nobody has to pay anybody anything. Uh, well, they, they do have to pay uh, themselves to upgrade their, their networks here, but uh, no, nothing's free. So anyways, so in conclusion, the idea that level three that Comcast wants to block Netflix, uh, propagated by level three, is m misleading. Comcast not only let them keep the free capacity they have, they offered to give them they gave them more free capacity and just said, look, if you want even more than that, you're going to have to pay us for additional private lines. So level the fact that level three is a transit service does not entitle them to free private peering capacity. The two services have nothing to eat, do with each other. 